In this video, we will create a Microsoft Outlook contact from information on a form. In a previous video, we imported information from Microsoft Office Outlook. We can also export information from Access to Outlook. You will need to use or create a form that has a command button to run this macro. In this example, our button is labeled Create Outlook Contact. So let's begin. First, we need to open up the form in Design View. And in Design View, we need to select the button that's going to run the macro. Next, we need to open up the Property Sheet panel. My Property Sheet panel is opened up on the right-hand side of my screen, but if yours is not, from the Form Design Tools tab, click the Design tab on the ribbon, and then select Property Sheet. From the Event tab of the Property Sheet, we need to click on the Build button for the on-click event for this button. The Build button is a little dot 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 to the right-hand side of on-click, and that's going to open up our Choose Builder window. We're going to create our macro with the Macro Builder, so I'll go ahead and click on OK. And that opens up our Macro Builder window. Now let's start to create our error handler. The first action that we want to set is what to do in case of an error. So if an error occurs, we're going to have the application move to the next action and also display an error message box with a system-generated description of the error. So from the Add New Action dropdown, we can either select or type in on error. The go to argument automatically has populated next. So if an error occurs, next is going to move to the next argument. OK, so how do we export the contacts? From the add new action dropdown, we're going to select or type in run menu command. And the command that we're going to choose from the dropdown or by typing it in is save as Outlook contact. Pretty easy, right? Okay, let's create that error message box. And if you've been following along with the other videos, you know that all error messages have an associated number with them. And if you want to test to see if an error has occurred, you would check to see if that number does not equal zero or if it's greater than zero. So we're going to check that. And if a message does need to be generated because there's an error, we're going to have a system generated message pop up. And we're also going to have the system beep at the user. So from the add new action drop down, let's either type in or select if. And if we have a macro error, the number does not equal zero, we want a message box to appear. So from the Add New Action dropdown, we will type in or select Message Box. And the message here, again, will be a system-generated message. You could type one in that's custom if you like. But the message here will equal the macro error, its description. Again, we'll have the system beep at the user and as far as the type of message box pops up, right now we'll leave it as none, so there'll be no special type of icon. But you can choose critical, that's the one with the red X. You can choose a couple of different warning boxes, or you can choose information. Information is the message box with the blue eye. You also have the argument of title. Do you want a title, custom title, to appear on the message box? Now, if you leave it as blank, it'll just be the name of the application, Access. All right, that's it. Let's go ahead and test our macro. We'll go ahead and click Save on the ribbon and Close. That takes us back to our Form in Design view. We want to switch over to the Form view and click the button to create an Outlook from this contact. Once we click on the button, there it is. It brings in all the information that we had on the form.